Greetings, HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, here with my HP Touchpad. You may ask yourself, why is he back into the WebOS operating system? The reason for this is because I was uh, notified recently uh, by a friend that I will just call Tom uh, that there is a very handy app in the WebOS that will allow us to modify the MoBoot um, application that we use to choose our operating system at the time of boot. Now, in order to do this, you do have to have Preware in, installed already on your WebOS. If you do not have Preware installed, nor are you in developer mode, then you are going to want to watch one of my other videos called How to Root Your HP Touchpad in the WebOS. So let's get started here. Uh, I'm going to go in and find my Preware app and let it download the feeds okay so now what we're going to do is search for this application uh, it is called Cyboot and that is C Y B O O T well it would help if I type the T C Y B O O T and I will press enter and here it is so I'm going to choose this and it's going to tell us what options it's going to give us. It allows you to manage the settings for the MoBoot bootloader. You can choose a default OS, choose an OS to boot directly to on the next restart, choose a timeout for how long the bootloader waits before booting the default OS, and restart your device. These are all things that somebody has requested from us uh, over the course of the last couple months. So I find it very interesting that a WebOS app has been designed to accommodate all of these needs. So I'm going to go ahead and install this and see what type of results we get. And the application has been installed. So let's go back out and we'll go back to our menu and I'm assuming there it is, Cyboot. So currently it looks like my boot default is Android and that my next boot, well it says none because I didn't uh, tell it anything special and the timeout looks like it's five seconds. Uh, that's one that has been a, a uh, complaint from many people and so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change this. Well, let's uh, change it to 10 seconds. Doesn't look like it took it. Let's try this again. One, zero, save. Hmm, okay. Maybe it doesn't like two characters. So let's try nine, save. Okay, so it looks like there's a limitation of one character here. I don't know if maybe I'm doing something wrong or if that's just a limitation of the coding. That's fine. Either way, nine seconds is almost twice as long as we had before. Now, I am running Android. Uh, I am currently on the 2.1 alpha of the Cyanogen mod, and I do have it defaulting to Android, but I'm going to see what my options are here. It looks like I have WebOS or Android. I'm going to choose WebOS because it's different than what I have now. Uh, it also does not appear that the option to automatically boot into clockwork recovery exists. However, I can't imagine anybody actually wanting to automatically boot into that. So I'm going to save these options. Settings has saved. Hit OK. And I'm going to exit this. And now I'm going to reboot my device, and I'm actually going to go into Settings and Device Info, Reset Options, and Restart. And let's see what we get.
Haha, -ha. well look at this. My timeout started at 9 seconds and it did automatically choose the web OS. Now once I use the volume keys to uh, make a different option, obviously that uh, negates the countdown. But it does look like this application does exactly what we want it to do. And so uh, one reason, at least one reason, why you may want to go and check in on your web OS and download this very handy tool. Uh, just in case somebody wants to know, I was using web OS 3.0.4. However, I don't see any reason why this wouldn't work on a point three or uh, the elusive point five. So this has been Reverend Kyle with yet another video showing you how to tweak the HP touchpad a little bit more.